Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. Hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. Many energies coming in today. The earth is shaking. If you go on earthquaketrack.com, we had the uh, 7.1 in Ridgecrest, California. There's been over 1,482 earthquakes in the past 24 hours around this realm. So the earth's sh shaking up. Everything's waking up. Many energies are being released. And the light workers around the world are grounding the codes into the grid right now as we speak. So thank you all for doing a great job. Many people are feeling these releases, these energies, these shifting. We're leading up here to the 7-7 seven, seven portal. The 7-7 seven, seven portal here tomorrow, or today, depending on when you're listening to this, which will lead us up to the 7-16 to the 7-17. Seven, A lot of people seeing the 7-11, the 71, the 17, the 555 was coming through today. 77, 73, many codes coming in. Last night, uh, many ships, or yesterday evening around sunset, many some ships were cloaked. There were many surrounding us last night. I also saw a celestial being last night after sunset moving through the sky, followed by a trail of light. Reminded me of an image of Quetzalcoatl. Also, there was a massive cloud ship that looked like a massive mother ship that looked like the hand of God. Pretty intense images. A lot of energies coming in. A lot of shifts. So this portal coming up, the 7-7 seven, seven into the 7-17, seven, which will be the full moon and the partial lunar eclipse, which will be a catalyst for this Operation Breakthrough, Operation Freedom Earth. Which will lead us up into the, the Lion's Gate, the 8-8. Eight, eight. Many people are seeing the 8-8s, eight, the 444, four, four, the 4444, the 8-8 eight, eight Lion Gates, the heart of the lion, living from the heart. The portal of the heart is opening for all of humanity. And then that will lead us into the Harmonic Convergence on 815 to 817. So we got 717 to the 817, which will be the timeline merging, breaking the timeline loop, the prison of the false 3D matrix. The 8 is being released. So today's Dream Spell Journey by Valum Votan and Boulogne Ilk, Kin254, the resonant chamber of timelessness. And many people are, most, many of us are feeling this feeling of being out of time, like a day out of time, timelessness, the spaciousness, non-linear time, going, you know, the flow of non-time or levity. In sciences, we focus on gravity. So the opposite of gravity is levity or bliss. So today's Kin 254, Resonant Wizard, Seven Wizard, was the bearer of the seventh year of prophecy, July 26, 1999, the 999 to July 25th, 2000, the 000. According to the Telectonon of Pakal Votan, presented by Jose and Lloyd Lean, our Wallace, on behalf of Pakal Votan and Balon Elk, therefore the Kin 254 was a year bearer of the Earth Wizards Seminary 1999. The seventh year of prophecy culminated with the ejection of the Circumpolar Rainbow Bridge presented by Valon Votan and Balonik, by the first time on the day out of time 2000, Resonant Mirror, Kin 98. The Kin 254, the White Resonant Wizard, I channel in order to enchant, inspiring receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of death. The Harmonic Convergence 2020, Journey Through Fractal Time, the last seven cartoons of the 13 Bakhtun Wave Harmonic of History, NS1.31.13.9, on the 13 moon count today marks 9 of moon 13 of the year of the red cosmic 13 moon 9, that will come to an end on a day out of time, 2019, K1. 
Ken 13, 13, 13, and we have a triple 13 numerical alignment. How is this? The 13th moon, day 9, 13th day of the 13th 20-day harmonic of the Zolkin matrix, vector 13, 13. This day marks the entrance into the last seven days of this 44th Zolkin matrix. We started last 26 October 2018, Kin 1. 1.1, that was October 26, which is also an 8, 2018, which is a 3, 8, and 11, so that's 1, 1.1, the 11. As presented one Zolkin ago, from the perspective of fractal time, these last seven kins, 253 to 260, correspond to the last seven cycles of 7,200 days before the closing of the 13th Bakhtun harmonic of recorded history. It is during these last seven cartoons that the machine expansion accelerates its pace until reaching a planetary climax with the nuclear events of 1945. Considering the volatility of the times we are living, let's, let's explore more fractal historical events associated with this window in more detail. It is of key prophetic significance to highlight that the 13th day of this 13th moon 1313 will correspond to Kin 25710 Earth. Kin 257 holds many key fractal correlations. On the daily kin count, Kin 257 codes the Gregorian calendar reform via Popol Bull Inter Gravissimus on February 24th, 1582. Day 13 of this Moon 13 will correspond to the 614, 614 Zolkin cycle since the bull was signed into law. On the 260 Katun fractal count, Kin 257 corresponds to Katun 257, 1933 to 1953. 1933 was the ground zero of the 13 month, 28 day calendar reform of George Eastman Kodak. 1933 was destined to be the first year of 13 months in history of modern civilization. Kin 257 also codes the cartoon that marked the start, the alpha, of the atomic era. The Noosphere Emergence, Part 4, The Fractal Redemption of the Error in Time. Kin 257, 10 Earth, I perfect in order to evolve, producing synchronicity. I seal the matrix of navigation with the planetary tone of manifestation. I am guided by the power of life force. The synchronic order was revealed to aid us in the shift from egotistical consciousness trapped in the illusion of the material plane to a collective planetary consciousness known as the noosphere. This is the synchronic order showing us the hidden synchronicities that give deeper meaning to our lives and the events that inform them. Jose Arwellis. We are living incredible times on Earth as our planet keeps moving in space at an incredible speed and we do not notice it on the surface. We are also evolving in time at an incredible speed even when it does not appear like that on the outside world. After six years of crossing the event horizon of 2012, 21, 12, that's December 21st, 2012, and closing the 13th Bakhtun of recorded history, and with it 13 stages of human evolution, old paradigms, systems, and moral principles seem to be crumbling and dissolving. Behind the external world of chaos, almost said Kronos, the synchronic order keeps informing us that we are entering into higher resonance with the larger harmonic patterns of time. This is the case now. We are closing at light speed a powerful fractal sequence of nested cycles within cycles of time with an impeccable degree of synchronization at multiple harmonic scales. This appears to be a second synchronization phase after crossing the highly compacted fractal wave of the galactic synchronization beam, which arrived last July 26, 2018, New Syrian Year. NS1.31.1.1, Kin 16913 Moon, the year of cosmic 13 purification. This entrance was sig signaled in heaven by the longest blood moon of the century to review, reveal new layers and elements of the 
redemptive narrative that we have explored in these series. Redeeming the error in time, the fractal synchronization of these multiple cycles and markers is presenting us this time a unique opportunity to make conscious and redeem a wide array of multidimensional cult layers of artificial time matrix. This is then a perfect window of time to revisit and redeem the error in time and enter into resonance with the larger harmonic pattern governed by sacred ratios and proportions of synchronic order operating behind the external world of appearances. Journey through fractal time. This can be considered as the most powerful gateway of this 13 moon year given the multiple notable actors and factors surrounding this portal. So we invite you to embark on a fractal journey through the cycles of fractal time to discover the next stages of our evolutionary journey as a species and witness the manifestation of the noosphere in real time. So that's from Tortuga1320.com and that's T-O-R-T-U-G-A 1320.com I'll put a link in the description below this video if you want to read more about this fractal time journey. Now today, the final transmission from n5d.com by Kim Semetis, Divine Warrior Goddess. Freedom codes activated. We have had some new codes activating in the last couple of days. These freedom codes are bringing forth new awareness, new realizations of the freedom that we have always held within yet did not realize their existence, at least not to the full potential as we are ever expanding, our veils of amnesia continue to fall. These codes will continue to open us more and more to our true self, setting us truly free as never before. It is in this place that we acknowledge not only our own divinity, but also our true galactic heritage as a star being, star seed, a spark of all there is in our beautiful multiverse. Along with the knowingness comes great responsibility to acknowledge that all souls are of this great divinity. This is when we have a look-see at how we were judging, how we were holding back, not accepting others and where they are on their journey. We all have this knowingness deep within us, in our DNA, in every nerve, cell, and fiber of our being, we have just forgotten. We are all a spark of the divine, as is our true heritage. Our responsibility is not only give ourselves the freedom to truly love, honor, and respect ourselves, but do the same for all souls. Gifting others love with non-judgment is something that we need to gift ourselves with as well. Let us take a look at that as we decipher what it truly means when we judge another and hold back on love, because they do not live up to what we think they should be. The freedom codes show us that this is, in fact, as judging ourselves. It is also a reflection of what is held within. Many souls will do whatever they can to avoid going in, taking a look at their own behavior, their own judgments, through the looking glass. Most will busy themselves with meaningless, time-wasting activities to avoid this looking glass at oneself. Yet this is where the magic happens when we truly open up and begin to see ourselves and behaviors with a clear lens. This is gradual most of the time, which is a gift to give us time to work on ourselves and release the old programming held within. Sometimes the veils come down fast and hard and we are taken down to our knees so to speak. When we truly see what we have been avoiding about ourselves, it can be quite shocking, yet it is so very needed and deep down we know it. The freedom codes give us much freedom to see things as they truly are, including ourselves. There is so much freedom as we wriggle out of our old suits, being a slave to our old programs, behaviors, patterns. There is so much more joy as we let others be themselves, and just important as just important allowing ourselves to be free too free to stand for ourselves when we used to remain quiet free to be who we truly are without self-judgment free to no longer judge ourselves free to no longer live up to others expectations free ourselves to try new things no longer worrying if we might fail freedom to succeed beyond our wildest imagination Freedom to play and have fun like a child again. 
freedom to see all that we need to to still work on and loving ourselves with the utmost compassion freedom to recognize the unhealed parts of ourselves and treating them with love and compassion freedom to recognize that we have the right to no longer allow others to project their pain onto us allowing ourselves the freedom to be happy and filled with joy in each moment as these freedom codes are activated they also bring up a lot of our stuff to see do not be afraid of this activation for this is the freedom that we have always been waiting for we have to see how we have not only put ourselves in our self-made prison but also others as we judge shackling others and ourselves to this 3d 4d hell purgatory let's cut those cords loose break out of the 3d matrix and open up to the higher realms where freedom awaits and it truly is heaven on the new earth happy joy filled freedom day and love and service kim Semetis. we have mercury retrograde starting on 7 7 which is the sirius energy portal july 7th marks the start of mercury retrograde and the opening of the sirius portal when the sun and sirius the brightest star rise in harmony and travel across the sky together mercury retrograde ends on july 31st the same day as the powerful and transitional black moon the second new moon in july we have now entered a new gateway this retrograde will be unlike any other cosmic energy is going to be amplified as sirius the spiritual sun charges and magnifies the energy of our planet's sun this is a period of total transmutation one when negative turns into positive and dust turns into gold this is a time for major detoxing clear out the old to prepare for extreme transformation prepare for reflection reunion reconstruction regeneration rebirth and for resurrection mercury will force you to shift reemerge and then rise this is like the phoenix rising from the ashen ashes this is like the butterfly freeing itself from the cocoon or the angelic being freeing itself from the chrysalis as we spread the angelic wings of the luminous energy field of the crystalline dna codes so godspeed brothers and sisters of the light enjoy the 77 portal into the 717 full awakening of consciousness into the new earth the new field the new eden have a beautiful and blessed day i love you all namaste